In our previous video, we've learned about simple interest. Now it's important for us to understand the difference between simple and compound interest. Then we will know exactly what to do for each interest that's presented to us. The word simple will basically explain to us what we need to do. All we do is just find the interest for each year and it will be the same way for each year. There's no changes. The way you found the interest in the first year, you'll do that the same way in the second and third year as shown in our video on simple interest. For compound interest, you have to find the interest for the first year and then to find the interest for the second year, you add the interest and then you calculate the new interest so each year you have to keep adding the, the previous interest onto this and this becomes a new amount and then you find the percentage of the interest as given to you this will make better sense when we look at an example jerry invested 15000 rand at 7% pa now we know that the pa stands for per annum and per annum means each year or every year or yearly so we know it, it is a interest that's covered for the entire year on compound interest for a period of three years now if you look at an issue like this or a problem like this that's placed to you in the exams you have to look for key elements in the problem and there are four distinct elements in this problem the first thing we note is that it is a compound interest question the principal amount is 15,000 rand the principal amount is the actual amount that's invested or that's taken on loan. Thirdly, we have the interest. Now you notice I've given a simple amount of 7%, but sometimes we can have a decimal. So make sure that you enter this properly in your calculator with the percentage sign. Lastly, we're given the number of years. Remember, this can come in many formats. Uh, for instance, it can come as three years or it can be presented in terms of months. I've simplified the two basic types of questions that can be asked to you. Uh, firstly, they may ask how much will Jerry have after three years? And the second type would be how much did Jerry earn in interest? Now this is interest only. Now we will be looking at uh, greater examples in future exam papers. So this is just to give you an idea of the concept behind which you are working. In answering question one, uh, we find the percentage for the first year and we arrive at this answer here. And this is the way you present your answer in your exams. In Matslet, we ask learners to present the answers as year one, year two, and year three. Unlike the maths students who use the formula, uh, we advise our Matslet learners to present your answer in terms of steps. Now it is important that you remember the interest for the first year because this will be added to your principal amount to calculate the interest for the second year. As I've mentioned, you can see I've added the interest for the previous year onto the 15,000 and thereafter I am finding the percentage of 7% and I arrive at my interest for the second year. For the third year, I presented the answer like this so you have an understanding of what exactly I've done. So if you look at it, the principal amount plus the first year's interest and then the second year's interest is added on and this is how you get the concept of compounded interest and thereafter I'm finding the percentage for that amount I've got and I arrive at 1202,145 and you notice I've rounded it off because we're working with money and it's important that we round off to two decimal places. In fully answering question one the amount that's at the end of the three years would be my principal amount plus the three separate interest for each year and I'll arrive at 18,375,65. Now the second part or the second question, they asked for only the interest that Jerry has earned. So knowing now that I've earned 18,375,65 as the total after the three years, I would just subtract my initial amount I started off with and the remainder would give me my interest which is 3375,65